Alright, here we are. 3k 4v4. We're going to Pillars. I know I've ranted about Pillars in the past. It's a fine map. I just played on it way too many times. Especially back when I was first recording. Because I hadn't hosted any games. I'd only played on other people's games. And it was, it was getting old. It was getting real old. But, uh, bringing it back into rotation. Now that I've spent so much time in other places. We've also got some more viewers. We're going to be hanging out in Discord. Talking to people, we're hanging out with the ANS team. Ugh, ugh, I know, I can feel everybody revolting. Nobody likes the ANS, they're a bunch of jerks. Too many people pay their taxes. We got Grenade, Zombarino, and Curveball Space Police in the Discord, which is muted right now, so I can do this intro spiel. Uh, obviously, tons of returners. Grenade, Zombarino, and Curveball Space Police, and Call, and Mungo Parker, who's also in the Discord, but he's on the other team, so he's not in this channel. And then, uh, I think that's it. I don't think I've seen anybody else before. Yellow Jello, local midshipman. Didn't have an OSP fleet. Made one or is using a starter fleet. Getting a lot of silliness down in the chat. And, uh, yeah, that, that's it. Here we go. I have rebalanced my audio a little bit, so it should be easier. Hopefully you don't have to crank the volume up to either to the point where you can't hear me or to where the uh, Discord minions will blow out your eardrums so we're gonna unmute for a little bit and then I'll, I'll probably bounce back and forth between muting and unmuting i actually need to definitely deafen for this since i'm doing an intro so we got grenade here in the band of feeders, if you've seen any recent videos, you know what this thing is. Beam battleship with some uh, Mark II missiles on the back. Well-rounded, lots of point defense, lots of resurrects. Just a real menace. He's pretty well with it, too. He plays pretty well with it, too, I should say. We got Kerbal Space Police with a very odd build here in Axford with some Mark Threes, Some hybrids and torpedoes, interesting. And some guns, a lot of point defense. And then we got a gun voxel with some point defense. And these are in separate areas. These are not playing together. Very brave. Might bite them in the butt, though. I don't know if the OSP team is bringing much of the way of missiles. I'm guessing not. Subpar hero with some torpedo. A lot of torpedoes on the backpack slot. And then guns on all the four spots. So, really planning a bow tank and then bomb with missiles. This build, Zambarino bringing what he's been bringing, the Axford, the two destroyers with beams and guns, and then the scout sprinter at Axford's got uh, some torpedoes, some Mark III's actually, some hybrids, no, torpedoes, some maces, and some cannons on it. It's, this is a pretty well-rounded fleet, and I feel like he could do really well with them, but he's just not quite making use of the uh, the speed of the scout and the destroyers. They're staying with the Axford, and I think that's hindering his ability. But uh, I, th I also think he's learned a lot from these past few games, so I'm expecting to see some better performance out of him this game. We got, we'll got we go from the bottom up over here. Yellow Jello with a Gunnacello 450s, a 450 and 250 Gun Bulker, which is... Mm, an interesting choice. It's just so many points. And just a few rapid cyclers, no ammo elevators, so those are going to be slow on the reload. Good luck, buddy. And, uh, yeah, a little scout tug. Mungo Parker. T30s. Pla oh, oh, mm, okay. All right. One pure T30s, one pure plasma cannons. All turrets. That's oh, that's an interesting build right there. That has a lot of potential to be very good, especially against these two beamers or two uh, battleships. One of which is a beamer, one of which is a gunship. Got some tugs, one with an EWR, and one that's just like a PDE warship. Nice. Call. Bring his T30 and plasma ships. Yeah. This could gel really well with this team up here. I don't know if he's noticed. Because if they stick together, they could be very dangerous. Very dangerous. C-53s and some roll-offs. And now these sticking with that team is also pretty dangerous. Because 250s could really wreck against a plasmid foe. Plasmid Solomon. Also got a tug ship over here. 
what else we got on the field? Scout, just a... Pack of tugs with guns and point defense and a little, little bit of... Each tug is just a little tiny bit different than the other one, which is mad respect, but it's going to be very difficult to manage all these. If Hardly manages this effectively, I'm going to be very impressed. All right, we're going to dip back into the Discord and be greeted mostly by silence. Remember, we're on the ANS team this time with... Uh, I wish I wish I, always, I wish I remembered to bring the tugs. I always bring a... I mean, I could probably get rid of one or two missiles and stick a Citadel CIC in this thing instead. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Build chatter. In the meantime, the OSP has managed to get their usual early point advantage with the fast ships. Oh, it's a tugboat. And oh, no, it's a tug fleet. Tug getting absolutely annihilated <laughs> from Kerbal Space Police's ship and then crossfire from Zomorano's oh, that's, team. That's neat. Oh! That's cool. It, it, yeah, it is. Uh, oh, it's a, it's a clipper. Swapping the HE. Yeah, just annihilate that. It's not a clipper, it's a tug. Easy. You guys can think there would be. Just don't get like missile. I've seen I've seen tugboats with size threes like on our thing. That is cursed, yeah. His grenade and going under the map. They're not all that good either because the torpedoes tend to get shot down pretty fast. Because mm -hmm. they can only field torpedoes, but I've seen some that can do like some crazy damage. This gonna get cut out by those beams. But nothing else I, I on the lower side. I don't think the top is dead. Probably. Well, this team could actually get caught out by the beams as well. Very effectively, in fact. Yep, it's dead. Alright, um... I might try to capture it with uh, my light cruiser. I'm gonna try and see if the tool fleet is still at B. Well, it definitely is. Okay. Okay, yeah. Moving around behind the rock, trying to take cover. It's good. The OSP team can just rock back and force aggression out of the ANS since they've gotten the extra cap. How far across the pillars? Probably like 25 clicks across. So, yeah. It's a Avora complaint that, oh, the map's too small. It's like, well, they, the map is almost the same size as pillars. I don't want to hear it. Gunfire coming in on this team. Oh, plasma. Ah, uh, here we go. They have a plasma liner. At least one. Like a pure plasma liner? Uh, it, it might be something else that is plasma, but it looks like... I believe it's probably a plasma line ship. Yep, plasma line ship. Oh, that's a... That's a pure plasma line ship. Interesting. Yeah, that's different. I did see that they did buff Plasma a little bit, because um, they they rejected some of their super buffs. Um, now Plasma can do up to 80 centimeters of armor pen, but you have but it works like beams, or you have to be close for it to work, so it's fall off. So at ma they have a max range of 8 kilometers, I think? Yes. Yes. So as long as you stay on the edge of the range, then they aren't actually doing that much damage. I think it's like 30 centimeters. Something, and I'm muted now in the Discord, something that uh, these people might not know is that turrets are significantly less accurate than the casemates. So if 
they've got probably an eh track on this. So Zombie, with his bow tanking, is now able to dodge. Oh, that is a lot of all of these. No, well, I guess not all of them, all of them, but a good chunk of them. Oh. Oh or, my. Oh, the track has improved. Oh, okay, so it's a plasma mine freighter with a backup 100 millimeter freighter. That's and a tugboat for. Yeah, so focus on the 100 millimeter. Copy. Oh no. The, Fuck that's that. the only one that can do real damage. The plasma isn't going to do anything. Kill the plasma first. Yeah, the 100. He's right that the 100 mil does the damage. Oh, yeah. and the other but day, it's the plasma the that enables it to I do the damage. My hole broke. My, um, my structure shattered on my battleship. For like the first time ever in multiplayer. Because if you this thing can put out so much of this, I think the plasma is more of a threat than the hundred mil. I've been wondering for a while. Should I replace the uh, Mark sixty five on my game battleship for a uh, a four fifty? I think the Mark sixty five is better just because you. Uh get the uh, get the fast fire rate if you're trying to shoot something uh, like small in my opinion missiles away beams away gauge enemies wonder what those are Ocellos? yeah Ocellos. wait Oh, bulk freighters on the yeah. <laughs> 450 bulk freighters. Oh, there's an Ocello and a uh, bulk freighter. What the? I've jumped them. Oh, my him. God. He jumped them. It's an Murder ambush. Him. <laughs> Murder him. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go capture A with the with the Atlanta. Certain amount of damage coming into these from this beam ship, and uh, that damage I've is going to continue. It's an ambush. He's don't have enough firepower. However, the plasma assist from Call could right, absolutely four seven zero zero is cause some problems. Some kind of shit. T thirties aren't going to do enough. Oh yeah, the ship. It's a one point. Significantly more plasma. All right, I'm pushing. Oh my! What is that? No, There's beam the Neo Solo first. You get more efficacy. On the opposite side. <laughs> the bulk are taking cover behind the Ocello. Firing some missiles that's into the A. Ocello. Oh no. Copy, that's probably a... It's probably an A&M. Yeah. yeah, it's an A&M. Yeah, it's a, it's a line ship with both guns and... Plasma, it seems. Doing the roll strap, oh, but he can't roll a, faster uh, than he reloads. Jeez. He has... Right, well, this is going on. Let's take a look at the bulk team. Oh, these are getting absolutely torn to shreds by Zombies Fleet. Oh my. And a T-30 chip is basically out of commission. Uh, he's got enough restores, but he's not really using them effectively. He's restoring the antenna and not the guns. Well, something's lagging. The game. Beams are getting into the... Uh... To I'm pretty range. sure there's like a whole enemy fleet. Oh my god, there's like yeah, they have two two bulkers with with Ocellos each. That's there's weird. also something jamming me from above that's firing one twenties Yeah. I think this was just a little too bold. Instead of ambushing the opposing team, he's got ambushed by the entire OSP military. Grenade going for the bolt strats with the beamers. Round he got away with it. They've knocked out a little while. My beams and my size two launch. But I think he's gonna get punished for his hubris. And in the last match, this strat worked really, really well. That is a lot of tugs. That is a lot of tugs. Max range seventy two hundred. Yeah, plasma continuing to cook this. Well, Atlanta's coming to help. Deploying missiles. I'm just, I'm just firing all of my missiles. That's fair. Probably if probably not a bad idea, honestly. And it's working out. Pretty sure I'm gonna lose them soon. Some are getting through. 
Oh, that beam's going straight in the face of that Volker. I am. Marcelo's drives around. Copy, I'm gonna hit him with HE from the side. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm beaming the Ocello right in the rear right now. Oh yeah, he's on alarm to command. Meanwhile, Zombie quietly taking Bravo all by himself against these one and a half fleets. I thought there was more over here. Best part about the viewer cast is I don't have to see talk the entire time. I get to save my voice a little bit. It probably won't, but you never know. Keep knocking out my freaking comms. I see how that would be a problem. I could stole E from them right away. One twenty eight and probably should be firing AP at him. Trying to get my calls back on. They destroy a track core leader and antenna and two birthings. Oh no, my birthings, those war criminals. <laughs> Can't believe them. Mm, oh, that's a that's another feeder fleet above. Me. That one's dead. And these bulkers are dead. Should I just burn? Yeah, I should open. just burn for the feeder fleet above me. If you want to, yeah. You seem to be doing well. Uh, I am. I have stopped moving towards A because the game was like, why are you why are you moving towards A? Yeah, if you can get some missiles around A or E, mm. or that, because uh, that bulk liner I think is still alive. Copy. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm engaging a, a oh, shuttle yeah. that is encroaching get, upon this. Get rid of that E4. Oh, he has, he has a cargo? Feeder? Hmm. I have no idea why those are missing. They're engaging me with, I think, 250 HE. Fortunately, this gun axe. Uh, Solomon's gonna be a little late to the party down here. These two ships are both very, very dead. Oh, oh, that's 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 oh, nasty. Okay, well that works. There we go. See problem solved. Alright, take care of this tug fleet. Go take B. Go take B. They, they've they've abandoned B. Seven, uh, four, 470 is now engaging my uh, light cruiser. Oh god, it's being absolutely just demolished. Okay, I'm going I'm going to B. I'm being absolutely blasted by 470. I'm getting jammed by a tugboat, but that tugboat's also the only one I have locked, so I'm just beaming it in the face. That's fair. What, did it, what have I lost? A birthing. That's... That's fine. Uh, clear. Move hold position. Grenade going on the aggressor. Aggressive oh, foot so against these tugs. Very Thank bold. You. Oh, yep, they have... They have, they have, oh, oh, my, my poor Atlanta is, my poor Atlanta is about to just die horribly. The tanking in the 250s. The Voxel, the Kerbal Space Program, tanks. getting it owned by... Take the top boat, uh, it's a uh, early warning radar. I'm gonna kill it. T-30 fire, which is quite something. It's not, uh, it's not something you see very often. Yeah, I still don't know how 100 mils stack up against voxels. They keep shooting me. Because I've seen him be worthless. I've also seen him do this and completely annihilate. It might have something to do with just a little bit of plasma on the voxel. Maybe that's the thing about this ship. It's like the ultimate voxel killer. Just a little bit of plasma on the nose of a voxel means T-30s can slice right through them. Do not know. Anus team very up on caps. And about to pass the OSP in points. In fact, they're about to own all uh, the caps. Well, cap day. Zombie would uh, pull the sprinter out and cap B faster, and they'd own even more. So, so I have no idea what's going on with this guy's missiles. It's like they don't have tracks. 
for uh, tracking. Yeah, uh, I am. I am dying horribly. Nah, you got this. Dude's been crying about I'm... dying horribly, even though he's. That is a lot. I mean, of he's definitely taking a lot of damage, but. Oh, the bulk. For... Uh oh. You can still fight. Wait, the bulk freighter is here too, but all but one of its casemates are destroyed, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, that that Ocel is about to just eat crap from uh, S3. Uh, Unfortunately, its 450s are destroyed, but its 250s are not. If it gets flipped right around. Yes. Um, oh, nice. Yes. It, what? One missed. Hmm. ATKP yeah. going into the top. The best choice against bulkers. Being jammed. I want to engage this tug fleet, which is being annoying. Oh my god, that bulk freighter is just absolutely decimating me. I don't know why this bulk freighter is even taking the time to aim at me, as their guns are all dead. Oh, the Ocello is, is no longer in our command. Oh, the Ocello's dead. Got some restores. This is from our midshipmen. Unfortunately, not restoring his guns. Atlanta. Could get some mono damage down the field if he did. Alright, Osolo's dead. Wonderful. Good job. That tug fleet really ain't doing much, honestly. He is done I'm kind of just still ignoring this tug fleet. Yeah, I yeah. haven't seen the the tug fleet in a while. Yeah, he's he's not doing he's not doing much. Yeah, I'm out of restores and Why? being bullied. They used to go around and get caps on the backside. The only thing they've done is they've that. knocked out my antenna four times, I think. <laughs> and th you know what? Maybe I should stick a second on this thing. Because that's like the only thing they knock out consistently. That's fair. Oh man, if, if, if oh, this tug uh, team that I'll hardly read a call actually comes up on top of that. Uh, yeah, he, he was sitting there and I think he was trying to hit him. me, but he was trying to hit me with his 450s, which were the ones that were dead. If he had hit me with his sign that had 250s, I would have been screwed because those 250s actually do pretty good okay, damage when they have AP. Tug fleet headed over to D. Tug fleet's just running away. So is this one. Yeah, this, hopefully, yeah, hopefully this battleship will come to help me because, um, yeah, they're they're just rushing A. They're all rushing A. It seems. I don't know why. I mean, they could correct. rush. They There's, could take uh, D right now. They could. Two ships going to A. I don't know why they're all going for A. Like it's a tug the fleet. Space they could is obsessed with hyperbole. Because right now they're gonna lose on caps, but apparently. Uh, it's not good enough for them. They have to go for the full annihilation. Yeah, they they have to bully my poor light cruiser even more. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Truly. Oh, she came back. Can you can you move? She cannot. Oh, missiles inbound. And they missed. What? They have missiles? Uh, yeah, apparently they just fired two missiles and just completely whiffed them. I don't I don't know what's happening there. They're also apparently really um really quiet uh, somehow. They got really low signatures or something cuz they they keep falling off my radar. Oh, they're going for D, actually. Because uh. we have a front line. Front lines are cheap, gr cheap trash. All right, come over the rock. 
They have a place, but they're not good radars. Mm, the, the, he's, he's, he has decided he wants to fight me. This guy's just making wrong call after wrong call. These are actually leaving. <laughs> uh, it's it's nice to have someone oh, else in voice comms other than me being wrong. Armed with plasma and because I'm wrong all the time. And, uh, ah, right. Yeah. He's being very annoying, but that's about all he's being. The issue is, is this tug fleet's way faster than I am. Yeah. Yeah, that's the big problem with Solomon's in the late it. game. Especially after he's been playing speeding for so long, these engines have started to burn out. So it's slower and slower they and slower. It might be and slower. It'd be nice if uh, 450 had uh, HE uh, RPF. That'd be funny. That'd be great. That would be funny. I don't know how well it would work, though. Probably not not well. But... I have seen people use the triple uh, 250s on the battleship. Like, just fill up everything 250s and, one, and the 150s. Zombie, can you uh can you take care of RPM. can you take care of four seventy and the tugboat going for E? Uh, okay. Thank you. Crap! I don't have a what kind of oh I have a spyglass. Why do I have a spyglass on this ballot? What do I need a spyglass for? That's an that's an interesting uh, thing to put on the beam, BB. Uh, Twenty minutes remaining. I'll probably like replace it with like a parallax or something. <laughs> probably, probably not a bad idea. Uh, silly billies. Oh, this guy's jamming me, but he's in my range. Beams out. Let's go get beam. He, he's falling uh, right for instantly the... died. I don't know why he came to attack him. He could have stayed at D and just ran away. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Come on, PD. Come on, PD. Come oh, on. you're gonna do it. It's gonna be enough. Come on, Flack. Flack's got it. Flack's Flack. Got it. Flack no, it's the The day. rest are gonna get through Flack on the kill. Flack does not got that. Oh man. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Uh, I'm still alive. Oh. Managing his DC oh, teams very well. You took my antenna again. Yes. Yeah. My torpedo hit. <laughs> the only one. Nice. The zombie finishing off a ship before he's able to cap back out. They also knocked out my storm. Call desperately trying to keep his bulker alive. Oh, more missiles. Oh, my oh God. Oh, God. What is... Oh, nice. No. Oh, my God. Oh, the humanity. More! Thank God we have another battleship. <laughs> yeah, I think this one might be out of commission. <laughs> yeah, this guy hasn't really done much with his, though. Not in the Discord, unfortunately. Just just a guy. Just a random. I believe track 5481 is a, is a, um, a decoy. Oh, okay. I think, I think it might be a decoy. Got a, yeah. I've got a reactor overload, but it's getting repaired. Copy. I think he's gonna be fast. Enough. I told you the tug. It's the tugs with the with the tor torpedoes and the. These are size two. The... Yeah, unless uh. I am losing components left and right. You're you're fine. You're, you're a battleship. That's that's what that's a normal Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, you know. Sh who needs who needs who needs any of this stuff anyhow? You don't need a reactor. What's a reactor? I don't need that. <laughs> well, I have I have ran out of uh, HE.
What do you mean, not happy? Oh, not happy. Yeah. At the very least, I'm going to take them with me. His reactor crits are getting worse. He's not going to be able to recover. His damage teams keep getting killed. And... He's a bit closer. Yeah, I think this guy's going to get out of range before it explodes. Yeah. Be sure it. Ha! Yeet! Get reactor cooked, you smelly tugboats. Unfortunately, uh, nothing was in range of that. Amazing. That was a lie. Sorry, yeah, okay, I think 40... 12, no, it's not a decoy. 40 12 isn't a decoy? I'm firing at it. I no, I think it's not a decoy. Oh, yeah, it says monitor. Because... Yeah, it says monitor. Yeah. There you go. I cooked, I cooked, like, that whole tug. I don't know if that killed them or not. I know, I know it can do that. You didn't cook shit. Yep, uh... Focus on four. <laughs> got a... Oh no, uh, this got three, rusted. This three, one, one two, tug six, got seven, rusted. Eight, three, oh, eight are both dead. Yeah. You can mark things as dead. Yeah. Yeah. He, just well, my well, shit he, is dead. He can't. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I could at one That point. is true. I did not consider this. It's a shame you can't, like, uh, friendly do it when you're dead, but I guess it makes some sense. That bulk 100 millimeter is still sitting under that rock. He is, yeah. He, I'm going to walk up onto him and shoot AP into his face. Please don't shoot AP me. into the bulk or use HE. What are we you got, talking about? Uh, I did at we least, got something I going out. for C. Uh, let me check. I'd say Wait, we've got this in the bag, though. There is a bulk freighter behind this rock. <laughs> yeah, go go shoot him. I believe in you. Oh, yeah, uh, the, yeah, that's the... Uh, take care of the monitor. I, I'm gonna shoot. Yeah, um... Yeah, I didn't even realize we are oh gonna win on point the... in a few seconds. The, They've got a whole the, fleet the, going to sea. Yeah, the, the tugboats are just pain, because I... Yeah, they're, they're, they keep hitting me with 250 in the side. It's painful. Oh, they're getting all these caps at the very end, but they, I don't think they can cap fast enough. I don't think so. No. Yep, we won. Yeet. Good job, boys. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was good. They, they were dragging me out. I was chasing them with my bean powder, so I just couldn't catch them. I think any of my ships got the nearly any damage. No, they are. Oh, your your heavy cruiser. Oh wow, yeah, your heavy cruiser did uh, did twenty one thousand damage. That's great. What was this guy doing? This is our rando. He was just like chilling on top of the map and not shooting at anything. Uh, I don't know what he was getting up to. So here's the AR. Zombie did a pretty good job. Almost thirty thousand damage. Act uh over thirty thousand damage. By just a scooch. Which is good. Real good. Hardly just kinda flew around and shot at things and stayed in cover way too much. Didn't really participate that much. Call. God, keeps getting more work out of this ship than I'm expecting. I always expect this to perform poorly, and it always does well. Super good. This little tug team, you've been doing pretty decently with those missiles. Killing grenade. Mongo Parker just got whacked right at the start of the game. Not necessarily because his builder's play was bad, but he just got... You know, maybe play bad, yeah. He was out in the open too much. He didn't have good tracks on his opponents, so his plasma wasn't able to land, and the follow-up T-30s didn't really do anything. 
And then Yellow Jacket, our midshipman, just had similar problems where he just got whomped because he wasn't really sure what he was doing. Good game overall. Hope you enjoyed the uh, viewer game and the chatter. I know I certainly did. I found it very entertaining. And if you want to get in on this sort of thing, there's a Discord link in the description below. And uh, yeah, that brings you here. It's pretty relaxed. Just a place for hosting games and a place where I can ping people that isn't the main nebulous Discord that has like a bajillion people in it. <laughs> I will see you all next time.